Growing up, I was a swimmer from the time I was a baby. Dad threw me in the pool and I swam to the wall. I was a swimmer all through high school, pretty competitive, and then I took time off through college. Post-college, I discovered running and started to do triathlons. I had just finished a triathlon, and the next day I started having pretty severe pain in my groin area. As an endurance athlete, you kind of have this mentality of train through the pain. I thought it was muscular, so I treated it with massage, acupuncture, and when that didn't help, I saw my primary care physician and she took an x-ray. And that was the first time someone said, well, you have hip dysplasia, so you've got to back off the activity. <laughs> be told you can't really do these things anymore was pretty heartbreaking. Someone said, you should just get a hip replacement. It'll be a brand new hip. It'll be totally fine. And I'm thinking, I'm 37. I, <laughs> why do I want to get a hip replacement? That was looking like my only option. But after I was diagnosed with hip dysplasia, I went over to Boston Children's and saw Dr. Quinn. She took more images of my hip, took MRIs, and she just said, you have dysplasia, your cartilage is starting to wear away. I didn't know what my next options were. And then she said, go see the surgical team. They've got this hip preservation program that we want you to go see if you're a candidate for. Lee's history is um, somewhat unique because she has moderate to severe hip dysplasia that didn't present until later in life when she was more than 35 years of age. We did all sorts of tests with her, including a CAT scan and an MRI, and we presented her this option of a PAO surgery. The PAO surgery has the ability to redirect the acetabulum or the hip socket to improve the coverage of the femoral head, treating the mechanical problem, giving more stability to the hip joint, followed by improvement in the symptoms and a long life preservation of that joint. I'm about eight months post-op and I go to physical therapy twice a week still. I go to the gym on top of that. I'm back on my bike. I've been swimming a lot. I'm actually hoping that next summer I'll be back in triathlons and not just sprints, but hopefully Olympic distance or even further. This really has kind of given me back my life when I thought it was kind of over in terms of activity.